so developers now we will start working on user sign up feature uh, firstly i was thinking that uh, we will uh, uh, make add to cart feature first and then we will jump on user sign up feature but uh, actually this was not good idea if you want to learn things uh, step by step so i just decide that uh, we will make user uh, authentication feature first and then we will jump on uh, add to cart feature so in this video first of all we need to make a uh, component for user authentication then we will make routing for it and uh, we will make a user sign up form and we will get the values of user sign up form uh, inside a function also so that in next part we can integrate api uh, just within a moment moment so now how we will open the sign up form so here you can see that we have a option of login there so i am just changing it login slash sign up so let me just let me just close this data type first and uh, i'm opening their header file and uh, now let me just put their slash sign up all right so uh, now we will open our authentication uh, page there so now let's make a user sign up component so just let me add their ng uh, c4 component before that i need to add here generate component and component name which is user auth and uh, after creating a component we have to define the uh, routing for it inside our app uh, routing module so now component is created we don't need this terminal now so, so we can close it and uh, let's go down and uh, click on the app routing module.ts and let's create one more routing there so just add a component link which is a user authentication component and path for this route is user auth right and now let's again open the header dot component dot html and uh, we can simply add the route link here so let me just put their router link and that will be uh, user auth and let's check that this is working fine or not so once i will just click over there you can see that uh, user auth works that means this component is loaded as a page there and now let's start with the code so i don't need this routing file and header file so we can close it and uh, let's just simply open the user authentication dot component dot html we don't need this p tag we can close it again just simply add a mm, div we can add a class also and you can put the class name let's say uh, user auth right inside that we can put a h1 tag also and let's say uh, we don't need the class on this h1 so we can just simply put the text here which is user sign up all right and after that we can create a form we don't need action type so we can remove that one and uh, what we need there we need a uh, firstly form name so i'm just putting the id of this you can say that this is name or id we are just starting this with the hashtag so just put their user sign up and that will be type of ng form right and now let's define ng submit event and there we can call a function with the name of uh, let's say sign up or something right and we can pass our user sign up form dot value and we have to define this uh, user uh, sign up function so let's open the ts file define this sign up and uh, we will pass data there in a parameter so we can put the any name like data for a moment i am putting there any but at last i will define that uh, interface for this and uh, again we can just make a console dot one data there all right so the next thing is uh, inside this form we have to create some input fields right so i am putting there uh, input field type of it 
text after that name let's see that's, that is also name uh, and placeholder and better thing is we can just uh, add these properties in next line because there is a many properties they will not come in single line and a, a placeholder is enter user name right and at last we can close it but before that we have to add two more things first one we have to use their ng model because we want to bind it with the values and uh, second thing is class so let me add a class also and class name is define uh, this is a common class name actually so which is a uh, form input we already just created this uh, class inside style.css so we just need to apply this there and uh, with the same way we need to apply three more things so let's check that what we are getting as output now that is a single input field right that's okay we are just uh, working on a style also so let me add two more input field with the enter user email after that uh, email as a name and last one is password the type is also password there name is also password and uh, last one is enter your password okay and uh, we need to add a button also there so let me add the button and uh, let's say the text of this button is sign up and again we have a class for this also so let me add a class and class name you can get from uh, uh, style right style.css file and here we go now let's again check the output so you can see that they all are coming in a single line this is pre-filled because that is i just uh, I mistakenly just store these form value inside my browser so these are the browser property you don't need to worry about that okay so after that let's just uh, add a common form property also there this is for the uh, form because they now it will just come inside the rows a uh, column actually because now this is coming in a single uh, row so this is not look like actually form so this is uh, much better and uh, now the next thing is uh, we can just add some style to that uh, user sign up area also right so let's open once for styles so that we can copy the style let's go to the uh, seller authentication part and uh, we can just uh, uh, copy this uh, you can say that uh, css uh, or you can just make it in the common file also but for a moment i am just putting inside the uh, user auth css file so we don't have uh, login for a moment so i am just putting there uh, sign up and all so just use this class i hope we used it already okay so we have user auth so i am simply put simply putting there user auth and uh, h1 tag and text align is center okay so now this is look like looking much better we can add some uh, style to handle this uh, uh, footer in the bottom also but that will do in the some other video now we are not just uh, working on a footer so now let's check that are we getting this value inside uh, our component or not uh, component.ts file so let me add some name let's say sam email id is sam at the rate test.com and password is uh, let's say one two three so if i'm just clicking on the sign up button you can see that we are getting this value inside our uh, component.ts file uh, i'm talking about that console log right so this is also working fine so now we use their any type and as we know that uh, use of any data type is not much beneficial in a typescript so we will just change it with the sign up interface so we already defined the type of sign up here you can see that with the name email and password and that we used for uh, seller and same thing we can use there also so i'm just using there user uh, sign up not user sign up and this is automatically imported there and still it will work perfectly if you want to just uh, try again let's say anil and this is email and password you can see that we we can just get all of these values right 
so that's all for this part uh, part and thank you guys for supporting me and uh, how you can support uh, by subscribe my channel like this video and share my uh, videos on other platforms so thank you again and thanks for your time also